Okay, quick tutorial on how to make a slideshow quickly within Video Studio. There are a number of ways you can make slideshows uh, and it depends on the amount of complexity you want to add to them and how much drama and how many effects you want to add. Let's do one very, very simply here. The first thing you want to do when you get into slideshows is go up to your settings dialog. Here in your settings area, pick the preferences. In preferences, you'll notice under the edit tab, that there is a transition effect. This basically means that every time you drag something into the timeline, it's going to give you a transition between two clips. So in this case, the transition is one second long, and it says here, automatically add transition effect. You can turn that off and on. And the type of transition. There are a number of transitions you can use here. You can just scroll down to your favorite, if you like, and then be able to just put that in there. I'm going to use just a wipe, say mesh, the other thing that you want to do is turn on your anti-flickering filter on photos if you're going out to a regular standard definition television set. So if you're going out through DVD, you want to reduce the flicker because sometimes on these photos, uh, if you have very fine lines, they may flicker based on interlacing. So here we have uh, apply the anti-flickering filter on photos. Uh, basically all the other ones are the same. Just leave the, the settings the same. Say OK. So now let's go to my library. Inside of my library, I have a number of photos. You'll notice that some of them have aspect ratios that are friendly to video, some do not. So let me just pick a number of photos here using my shift key. I picked a number of photos using shift key and I drag them into my timeline. You'll notice right away there's a default length on every photo. Now there's a wipe on every photo. And now I'm done. There's the most basic slideshow that you can do right there. The next type of slideshow you'll want to do is to have one that uses a template. Now we have a number of templates that are very, very good for slideshows. So let me just go up to a template. In Video Studio X4, the template button's right here. On this version, the template button button's up here, but basically do the same thing. Let me click on my templates. Now you can pick a beginning template, which, which is in designed around opening a video, or you can use a middle template to uh, use as a segue. I'm gonna use a middle template because it's a slideshow with a number of photos. So let me just grab one of these middle templates, just through here and just scroll down through here. There's a, there's a large variety that you could use. I'll use the Polaroid shots. You drag that into the timeline. Now the template is residing into the timeline. You'll notice that all the pictures that are in this template are placeholder images. You want to use your own photos. So to do that, go up into your library to where your photos are, drag the photo down onto the placeholder and hold down the control key. There. I've replaced that one. Repeat the step for all your photos. Okay. So I'm just taking a number of photos here and dragging them down, putting them onto, into the timeline, holding down my control key. And as you go through here, you'll notice that it's very, very quick. You just grab the photo, you drag it on, and you drop it. That's all. So now if I scroll through, all the effects that are in the template for this slideshow are there. In this case too, you can change the, the title. I just double click on the, the title area here. One moment here. My mouse is acting up. And I can say slide show. Just that simple. So as you want to have more and more um, uh, photos in this particular slideshow, you can go to the end of it and you can drag in a t another template at the end of this template. So you can just keep adding, 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 adding for the duration of your slideshow.